I can tell you that the crime scene we're standing in front of remains a very active crime scene. One suspect has been charged and is being held without bail. According to court charging documents, when police got here just before eight last night, the suspect was at his front door with his hands up that he surrendered and police say the suspect said he shot the people because they shot at his house. To the victims, families, families in that home, um, estamos aquí para ustedes y um, somos familia. As local and state leaders condemned the latest deadly mass shooting to take place in the city of Annapolis. There are many people on that block who will never be the same. Investigators from Annapolis Police, the FBI and the ATF continued to process the crime scene. The back half of the 1000 block of Paddington Place off of Edgewood Road with a focus on the front lawn of the home of the suspect charged in the case, 45 year old Charles Robert Smith. There's still a lot of questions that we have that have not been answered yet. Um, uh, we know that the weapons used was a long handgun and a semi-automatic handgun. According to court charging documents, Smith fired both of those weapons, killing three people and wounding three others during a fight about on-street parking. Smith's neighbor, three doors down, was having a graduation party, detectives write. There were a lot of people and a lot of cars, and someone was blocking Mr. Smith's driveway. When the party throwing neighbor went to talk with Mr. Smith, a verbal argument became physical and Mr. Smith pulled out a gun, according to the documents. They tussled over the gun. During the tussle, Mr. Smith shot him, then stood over him and shot him several more times. Then, detectives say, Mr. Smith retreated into his house, retrieved a rifle, and then began to fire out of the front window at the people attempting to render aid to the shooting victims on the front lawn. The chief calls this investigation active and fluid. He says nothing has been ruled out, including the possibility that this may have been racially motivated. If that is found to be true, the chief said there would be federal hate crimes charges filed. Reporting live from Annapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.